Okay, this is going to be a whole month of video. I went on vacation, so I wound up putting all of this together. It's going to be from uh, all the whole month of July. They were born March 20th, so this is going to be all the way up until they're 20 weeks old, because today is August 5th, and I'm not going to be doing any more video. Anyway, this is a lot of video of them flying in and out of the pond, uh, fishing. Um, you'll also notice how much more graceful they've gotten. And for the fact that he, they, they actually don't really even land in the pond anymore, they fly right over it. Um, That there was a storm we had. It bring up the I don't know. Like we got three or four inches to bring up the pond all the way halfway up to that ferry. So the pond's very deep in these in some of this. Um, the ducks don't seem to mind it. They they don't one way or the other whether they like it or not. They feed there underneath that tree. Now about a week after this or maybe this week that this was taken, I quit feeding them. I quit feeding them for a couple of weeks um, just to see how they would do, and they did fine. So I really don't believe you have to feed them in the summer like this because there's plenty of food and they still go up in the woods. Um, they go all over the place now. Um, that one in these videos, he still flies away at times and comes back. Um, but now it's already, uh, I'm recording this, or just getting it together in uh, the beginning of uh, August. And so I'm trying to remember back on these. Um, but he doesn't fly away anymore. But they still do go in the woods. They, uh, they still got the coons after them. They still got uh, the fox I've seen. Um, you won't see that. The cranes, I got so much crane video, I don't even put it in anymore. Um, but this is just basic video of them. I'm thinking one more set of, of videos, and then I'm going to stop. Uh, videoing them for a while you know have the cameras on but um right now today they are 20 weeks old they're almost adults and basically all i'm seeing is flying in and out of the pond i got some good close-ups of them but until they get bigger or until you know a few months from now i'll video them again and again this is the dog. We have my son's dog over here, and there's a hidden electric fence. So he can go to go about as far as that feeder, and then he can't go any farther. But he runs them off every now and then. And they like to go in his territory. And um, I think they antagonized him. Uh, he just would run after him to see him run, um, see him fly. Actually, it's the only time they would fly. They've gotten lazy. That's part of the reason why kind of quit feeding them because they got so fat they they got fat enough to where I think it was hindering their flight they weren't flying um, but see in this one he's flying real hard they flew right over the pond don't even land in it anymore that's how independent they've gotten um, well I'll just watch it along with you and cut in where I think needs to be told.
there they are pushing the Hollywood rock out of their way. Um, something I wanted to mention. Uh, some of this you won't even see them. You just hear them flying over the pond. Um, and then earlier there is a, a little bit of video in here that shows them standing still. That's what they will do in the yard. They'll stand completely still. And they don't move. I mean, not one iota. Don't blink an eye or anything. Well, they might blink. But uh, when they're on the lookout or they're worried about something, they just stop what they're doing and they just stare and stay in one spot. Here they're, they're fishing back and forth and up and down. They, I got a, a bunch of fish, replaced the fish in the pond, and they they fished, I don't know, maybe five nights in a row. They'd go in and around their, uh, you'll see that next, in and around their little house in there, and um, up and down that pond just fishing. And by the way, they've gotten used to that underneath there. They'll go under there when it storms. And now if there's a predator, they'll uh, go right under there. Although the raccoon will still come walk through the pond and he will go under there. But he doesn't hurt them at all. He doesn't go after them. I suppose he would if he had the opportunity. But they're much faster than he is. Um, so they seem to feel safe under there now. And I would imagine that is where they're going to winter. Um because I have no other place to put them. Um, see, they'll go in and out. They'll go in there and make a big circle like they're, like they're driving the square or they're like teenagers do. But they're not teenagers, they're young adults. They're not mating yet in this, at this age, because this is between uh, June 29th and July 8th and they started mating the earliest I caught was uh, July 30th about a week ago I'm just trying to remember back on these particular videos I took this before I went on vacation and I had to come back to not remembering what it was But like I said, maybe one more set of videos and I'll, I'm going to stop for a while. I think what I'll do is wait a few months and see if they, you know, I will video if they ever fly away or if I can get that on tape um, or anything spectacular. But otherwise, it's basically the same, same old, same old. Now that they've grown up, they look the same. They're not doing anything special. There's no new predators of any kind. So I think I'll probably wait till winter, uh, <coughs> at least a few more months, to see and then video again um, of them. Other than that, there's not much I can say about it because they seem to, they did their job. All my plants are gone in the pond. Now it's time for them to go, but they're not going to go and I can't catch them. And I hope they're going to have to winter underneath there and that's the thing because there's no place for me to put them because they're I did raise them wild so there's no way for me to give them a home other than keep that straw under there and try to keep the pond fluid you know so keep heaters in there so it won't uh, freeze up on them um, for the winter we'll see what happens come a few months from now And like I said, this is probably my next to last video because um, I got one of them sitting on the back of my deck. Well, I, I don't know what else I have. Uh, I have to take, take a look. But look, there might be one more after this. I'm sure of it.
think I need to clear something up. I bought six ducks in the beginning. I bought two males and three females. Then they had the up, gave me the choice whether you wanted to buy a straight run, which means the company would pick whether it would be a male or a female. So I chose the straight run. Um, so I would have definitely gotten the two males that I chose and the three females, and then they would pick the male or female. As it turned out, I think it's the male that flew away. I'm not sure of that yet, but that's what I think. And I'm wondering if that is the reason he flew away. Only one male, male per flock. Um, I don't know how it works, but that seems logical. I don't know. He did fly away though. Two males, three females, and a straight run. Six ducks. And I think the one that flew away was a male. In other words, the one that the company would have sent me was a female. So I had four females and two males. Okay, I just checked. This is going to be my last video. Other than the one that I uh, called Duck Stuff, number five, that'll be the last close-ups of the ducks. Um, and in that, they're 20 weeks old. Um, so you will see them up to 20 weeks. I'll record again when they fly away or when something happens, but I would imagine it would be a few months. So thanks everyone for watching, and don't forget to watch Duck Stuff. There are more videos, and I will see you this winter.